What's up, y'all? Uh, and we're back with my homemade onion dip. You will never go Lipton's again. It's so easy, so flavorful. I just had to give you that good reaction. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make my game day homemade onion dip. You try this once, you'll never go back to Lipton again, I swear. So we're gonna start out with peeling ourselves some white onions. You can use multiple onions if you like, but this is what I was just feeling today. And there is no particular way that you need to cut these onions, minced, diced, a rough chop, a slice, everything will do and work for you in this dish. It's just super simple. Probably one of the easiest dishes I've ever done on this, the channel and you know anything to keep the, the game day munchies rolling I am here for. I hope you all have had a wonderful holiday season this far even though we're you know in the tail end of this uh, interesting year that we call 2020 shall we say. We kept it low-key at my house for Thanksgiving. We had some uh, leftovers and I made a wonderful little casserole that I did not film, but I'm going to be making it again for a Christmas video, so you will definitely get to see that. I know oftentimes after we have our food, you're like, what in the world am I gonna do with all these leftovers? I have the perfect solution for you. Yeah, getting back to this video at hand, we are just going to slice these up, give them a nice rough chop, set them aside, and get ready to move on to our next step. We'll go ahead and take a little bit of time here and just jump into a time lapse as we get ready to move on to our seasonings. As you see, I peeled yet another onion and we're slicing these a bit more, you know, and now that would be considered a chop. <laughs> In case you didn't know the difference. But again, like I've said many times on the channel, I am not a professional chef. I just grew up in a kitchen and food is my passion. Um, maybe one day I may, you know, slow down a bit in life and, you know, take an actual culinary course or so. But until then, I'm going to keep on doing what I do in this kitchen. Slicing, slicing. Mm -hmm. I apologize again for the delay in the uploads of videos. I took a little bit of me time. Um, I love creating content, but it gets to be... Um, a lot and sometimes you need to take a little breather All right now you see here we have our minced onion and garlic salt and our Creole seasoning gotta love that Cajun kick You just have to it gives a little bit of um, Let's see it elevates our flavor for this particular dish I would say the minced onion and garlic salt are definitely key. That is my secret garlic powder blend if you ask me real nice in the comments, I may let you know how I actually make that in a video. All right, now we're gonna actually start this dish off by lighting up our fire, have our heat on medium high. And you want to get your skillet nice and hot. We have our onion sitting off to the side, ready for the main event. A little hot bath of buttery goodness. <laughs> we'll get our lines and our angles right, and then we we'll get this started. All right, we'll check in and make sure our pan is nice and hot, which it is. We'll plop in two tablespoons of butter. That is all the oil or fat you're gonna need for this dish. And you want to get that down quickly and add in your onion. And like I said before, you could use multiple different onions, yellow onions, sweet onions, green onions. You know, you can throw in scallions if you like to. Um, all of it. It just, the more the better. Give that a gentle stir. You want to get that 
nice and incorporated. You want the butter and the heat and the oils to get to know once another. <laughs> It's gonna take a little bit of time and you can actually reduce your heat down to uh, low, medium to low. Uh, you're really gonna want to brown these onions nice. You're gonna really get that rich, nutty flavor that you'll get from the caramelization of these onions. So the longer you do it, the better your dip is gonna turn out to be. So you let this go for about 10, 15 minutes, but it really all depends on the color of onion you want. We'll go ahead now and add in our seasoning. So we started off with about a tablespoon and a half of the uh, Creole seasoning, a healthy dose of our minced onion. If you have onion powder here, this will also work instead of the minced onion. Throw in our magic garlic powder. And just a kiss of garlic salt. Feel free to check out the description box below for full details and exact measurements. And something to be wary of for just to be on the lookout for, the Season with Soul cookbook will be available very, very soon. Keep checking back for more details. If you are new to the channel, welcome. We love having you here. If you were a returning viewer, welcome back. I have missed you. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a single one of Kevin Kitchen's videos. As you can see now, our onions are starting to get nice and tender. Uh, they've got a nice light brown color to them. We really want to go for a rich caramel color. That's my personal flavor, favorite. Right now, I'll give you another stir here. We're getting even more golden brown now. I've added in a little uh, green onion off camera, really continuing our browning process. And this is just a labor of love, but it's literally uh, a dish worth waiting for. Your family will thank you. I mean, I'm all for a time-saving measure. There's nothing wrong with the Lipton's dry onion powder mix get you a better look there, but nothing like doing it from scratch and, and homegrown. And when you see just how easy and flavorful this dish is, you'll wonder what you've been doing wrong your whole life. I'm just playing. You haven't been doing anything wrong your whole life. You just didn't know. There we go. Now we're really getting into it. I totally added a little bit more butter just Again, it will be in the description box below. The amount of butter that I had in before would be fine, but I'm starting to get hungry. We need to speed this process up just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now we are just about perfect. Look at that. Like nice caramelization golden brown deep caramel on some pieces there that it's just jam-packed full of flavor we are ready to go all right friends we are ready for the star of the show our daisy sour cream all right we are ready to get it peel that off camera because sometimes these containers can be a little bit tricky 
my show will get it. And if it doesn't come out right away, don't be afraid to get in there with a spoon and, or a spatula and really break that up. That's all you need. And it, you know, you could leave it out to be room temperature or you can, you know, be an amateur like me and pull it fresh out of the fridge. Either way works fine, but the heat from the pan, which we've already uh, cut the fire off, will go ahead and soften that up for you. We'll start with one. And make sure, friends, if you have a nice set of pots and pans, you do not want to get in there with uh, metal spoons to, to do anything. Get a spatula and break that up uh, so you don't scratch up your, your Teflon or your non-stick surface because that will Definitely make your, your food stick. There we go. Bloop. goodness off of that spoon so we can start to stir. And this is the fun part for me. Let me get that camera right. And just gently begin to incorporate everything in your pan. Your butter, your seasoning, your onions. It's just, it's perfect. It's fun. It's love. And you know, and this is a perfect party dip occasion. But, uh, you know, as I've gotten older, I've gotten more into football and I, you know, I have friends over and we, you know, like to snack and eat things and actually enjoy the game whenever we can. So uh, this is actually doing the best. Mix it up gently. As you can see, our sour cream is nice and softened and ready to go. Oh, it looks like heaven. Absolutely delicious. I just wanna get my chips and dig in here right away. But we all know onion dip is best when it's cold. So alas, I must wait. <laughs> this into our bizzle. <laughs> I love this bowl. I found uh, several little finds at the local Dollar Tree and it's wonderful. So it's a perfect dip bowl. We'll go ahead and peel that in and you'll be great. Get all the little nooks and crannies out of that. And then once you're done, you garnish it up a little bit and pop that baby in the oven for about an hour, maybe two. Get your chips on deck. Ruffles are the perfect dip chip. I don't know how many times I've said that in the past. They are absolutely perfect. This video is not sponsored or anything, but if somebody ever hook up with Ruffles, I'll let you boy. <laughs> Look at that. Uh -huh -huh. Food porn. Oh, that just, just seals the deal for me, you know, it just makes it work. Well, anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Feel free to finish watching this and stay tuned for that reaction bite. And as always, you already know what time it is. Oh, look at that. I didn't have any ruffles, but I love ruffles. We went ahead with the sun chips. The sun chips are really good, too. <laughs> All right, friends, do enjoy that. We'll see you next time on Candy's Kitchen.
What's up, y'all? Uh, and we're back with my homemade onion dip. You will never go Lipton's again. It's so easy, so flavorful. <sighs> I just had to give you that good reaction. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. It's so good. Oh my God, <laughs> so good. Y'all already know, <laughs> I can't even continue to speak. So I'm gonna see you next week.